Technology. A subconscious memory. An external recreation of what was once internal. It is the means of which our species will reach the peak of our ability. As we reach further and further into the reminiscence, our creation will define us as a species and bring about our true purpose. In coming years, technology will allow us to be so widely and deeply interconnected that the boundaries and differences in our beliefs will melt away. Even today, because of the internet, we are getting more and more connected and feel almost instantaneously the emotions, both good and bad, about unfolding events. It also helps us to react to them, both individually Come out of nowhere and just scream right into the side of the Twin Tower, exploding through the other side. And then I witnessed both towers collapse, one first and then the second, mostly due to structural failure because the fire was just too intense. And collectively. And this process will bring us to the next step of evolution. Bomb it in all the building, not second plane. That was a bomb. Who said the second plane? That's what we're told, the second plane, we oh, saw it on television. All right. Thank Thus, you. a great thought. Some people said they thought they saw a missile. Or invention can rapidly be transmitted, debated, tested, and assimilated much faster than previously. Technological progress has also unraveled a lot of hidden areas and has shown us how nature performs its miracles. In doing this, technology helps us understand the power and the greatness of nature. For example, humans felt that they had invented and developed fiber optics. However, scientists found that the root system of plants are excellent optical fibers, something that has existed in nature for billions upon billions of years on whatever planet it may have been. This knowledge can only come once we add enough technology for creating fiber optics. Similarly, a new science of copy of nature develops where we find that nature, which has billions of years head start, has far better answers than we have produced and hence dawning of realization that our technological progress will take a quantum leap by copying nature's design. We are to progress ahead in the technological age, discovering the great laws of nature and ultimately God. Nothing else but this marvelous universe which follows all of our understood scientific laws. Spirituality is nothing else but the understanding of ourselves and the laws of the universe through the tools of which man has created. Our race, one with creation. Though one may ask, is this the time? If so, where is the spiritual understanding? The sad thing about life right now is that science gathers knowledge faster than society can gather wisdom. Along with that, it's understood that the system of nature of which man and any creation of man is a part tends to be self-balancing, self-adjusting, and self-cleansing, a sustainable and finite order. But as Albert Einstein said, it has become appallingly obvious that our technology has exceeded our humanity. Does it look to you like time is speeding up? 
Okay, now we know for sure it's not. Creation is speeding up. There's more happening in less time. And that's been the pattern for 16 billion years now. More and more and more is happening in every moment than ever was available before in any civilization, anywhere, everywhere. When more is possible to happen in every moment, there's more possible outcomes, which opens the door to things called miracles. Things that weren't possible to happen that quickly are now possible. Can our technological advancements be infused with some sort of pattern or system? The true answer lies in the meaning of the means. Is our technology our nature? Among the vast problems we face today, a small handful logically are atop. This is through the reasoning of without one, there would be no other. Take for instance the environment. The environmental matter is atop the issues in this day and age because without our environment and the planet we live on, there would be no problems for the human race to face. We would not exist. The next issue would then have to be us and our health. Without our species, creation would be slowed down to an almost standstill. The next would then have to be natural resources. Without the use of our natural resources, man could never create the means in which we brought on all technology. Our exploitation of natural resources has a complete parallel with our obsession of the material world. Thus brings us to our fourth problem, energy and more importantly, the search for a sustainable and renewable source of energy. This is a direct link to our advancement in certain technologies. Now, to protect and keep care of these creations, we now must deal with the issue of overall security. Thank you. 